take on our classic pork binagoong. My version of pork binagoong has the same taste from what we call classic pork binagoong. However, it contains a few different ingredients. I hope you like it. Enjoy everyone. I think it's not fair to me to eat the pork binagoongan like this without rice. And of course, right over here is our cucumber salad. So, you have the steam mini eggplants, your pork belly, and the rest of the ingredients. And let's make the meal complete. <laughs> There's your diet soda. So now, this is how you eat this tiny eggplant. And what about the ensalada ng pepino or cucumber salad. This is best served when it's cold. Mm. You know it's it's salty enough that you don't feel the guilt of eating a lot of bagoong but it tastes pork binagoongan without that guilt feeling. One more time, pork belly, serrano pepper, baby eggplant. Done for the day. Watch the video everyone. Bye. If you've watched my previous video, you would know that I came from Wisconsin the other day and as I was driving home back to Chicago, I stopped by a local farm stand and decided to buy a few produce. I wanted to help and support some local farmers and at the same time, these organically grown vegetables are just really fresh. This baby eggplants got my attention and along with other vegetables, I came home, I washed it and now we are ready to cook it. I pierced the eggplants using a fork and I steamed it for 10 minutes until they are soft. I cooled it down before moving on to the next cooking process. to get into my eyes <laughs> so I'm going to remove the seeds okay everyone I have this at least 200 grams of pork belly these are already pre-cooked and I got this from Costco but it's been sitting in my freezer for a while now so I thought I use it in this dish so I will Cut this into small pieces. Oh. Let's add about two tablespoons of cooking oil into a wok. Let's add the onion. Okay. Three minutes is up. Onions and tomatoes are pretty much cooked and mushy. What I'm going to do is just, I'm going to just you know um put the aromatics on the side and i will add 
my pork belly. Like what I said earlier, these are pre-cooked pork belly. If you are using a completely raw pork belly, well, you have to brown it first and cook it before you add your aromatics. In this case, luto na po itong aking um, pork belly. So we're just going to brown this a little bit before we add the garlic. About a minute and you can see it's now um, bleeding oil. So I'm just going to combine the aromatics together. And then I will add the garlic. Now let's add our bagoong and our miso paste. I put um, two portions, two is to one is the ratio. Adding two tablespoons of water or color. Add the um, red bell pepper followed by the serrano pepper. And turn the uh, heat to low. Add your tiny steam eggplant and just slowly combine it you might be wondering as to why I did not remove the stems just for presentation everybody you can just easily remove it when it's time for you to eat it because it's soft it will easily be removed from the eggplant itself Turn off the heat, and we are done. This is how you uh, eat my version of pork binagoonga. All right, since I have all this produce with me, and I think it's perfectly fine, a match to eat our pork binagoonga with ensaladang pipino or cucumber salad. So, let's start. This is pre-wash. This is what I'm gonna be using. Serrano pepper. Okay, half a cup. Our um, vinegar, our suka. I use this because I just like the taste of the mirin. Maybe one fourth cup. And if you have sesame oil, please use sesame oil. Two tablespoons sesame oil. Some salt. And ground pepper one teaspoon sugar and using your clean hands of course As for me, I think it perfectly fits to eat the classic pork pinagoongan with ensaladang pipino or cucumber salad. 
Enjoy! Here is my take on our classic pork binagoonga. My version of pork binagoonga has the same taste from what we call classic pork binagoongan. However, it contains a few different ingredients. I hope you like it. Enjoy everyone. Okay everybody, thank you very much for watching uh, the cooking video. You can expect there will be a lot more uh, cooking videos coming your way. To all the new subscribers of Chef Ron Bilaro YouTube channel, maraming maraming salamat po and welcome. Shout out to my Instagram friends and syempre hindi ko malilimutan ang mga followers, especially mga new followers ng Chef Ron Bilaro Facebook page. Maraming salamat po for always pressing the like, giving me positive comments, and sharing my cooking videos. Alright, until the next dish, Ron Bilaro po, love you guys. Bye!